The teaching of Vedantu was amazing. One aspect where Vedantu teaching differed from a normal uh, offline coaching was the attention teachers gave to our doubts. No matter how many times we asked a doubt, the teachers would patiently clear the doubt every single time. And they made learning a very fantastic experience for us. Hi guys, how are you all? Hello Abhishek, hello Ajay. Uh, <clears throat> hello Home Malik. So this is Saurav here and welcome to the another session on electrochemistry. Uh, we are on the Vedantu channel and in this session we would be discussing a little more about the behavior of ions. Uh, hello Karan. Last class we have discussed about conductance, cell constant, we have identified what is conductivity, what is equivalent conductance and molar conductance. Okay, so today we would be discussing a little bit more about the effects of dilution on conductance. I will try to solve some problems as well. Hello Karthik, hello Babita. So <clears throat> without wasting any more time, let's start session start karte hai. Aaj ke session. Mein I would like to tell you that please, uh, please do like, share and subscribe the channel. Please do tell everybody about the amazing stuff that is happening on the channel. Uh, also, KUPY classes ke mein information last me aapko de di jayegi. KUPY classes have already started. Today's session would be mathematics for SA as well as SX. So, please do tune in at 8 o'clock as well as 9 o'clock for the SA and SX segment. Okay? So, uh, Hello Satyam, physics class kyo nahi hui? Uh, sir ki tabit hoi thik nahi thi, isi liye kis, physics class nahi ho pahe. I hope you understand. Okay, tabit kisi bhi kharaab ho sakti hai. So, electrochemistry mein what we have done until now is uh, behavior of ions, conductance hum log khadam kar chuke hai. Next class, means iske baad wale class mein we will be discussing Kolrath's law and that would end the whole uh, session. The last session of Wednesday ke session hoga, that will be on Kolrath's law and few problems on conductance and like uh, combined set of problems we will do on Friday, on Friday it will be a combined problem solving session on uh, galvanic cells and electrolytic cells. So, jitni cheeze board pe hai, unke upar ek combined quiz session rahega, that would be on Friday. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, physics sir is not well. Okay, so he will be here as soon as he is back on track. Okay, so guys, let's start today's session. And this is the homework problem that we would start with. But before starting this homework problem, let me uh, just quickly revise. Let me just quickly revise the formulas that we had discussed in the last class. So formulas that we had discussed in the last class was that G represents conductance, kappa represents conductivity, <coughs> okay, A represents area of electrodes, L represents length or you can say distance between the electrodes. distance between the electrodes uh, and uh, what is the relation between all of them in ke beech mein relation kya hai for people who are joining us today in ke beech mein relation kya hai conductance is equal to kappa times <coughs> a upon l okay why because we know that R is equal to rho L upon A. So, if we inverse this, we get this relation. Also, we know the fact that kappa is also written as G times G star, where G star is known as cell constant. It is known as cell constant. Okay? Cell constant is equal to L upon A. We had also learned this is just a quick recap of formulas which we had done in the last class. 
सो दैट की योर अप टू स्पीड आपको समझ में आए कि आगे क्या होने वाला है मोलार कंडक्टेंस इज इक्वल टू कपा टाइम्स वन थाउजेंड अपॉन मोलैरिटी इक्वेलेंट कंडक्टेंस इज इक्वल टू कपा टाइम्स वन थाउजेंड अपॉन नॉर्मैलिटी ओके मोलार कंडक्टेंस दिस इज मोलार कंडक्टेंस दिस इज इक्वेलेंट कंडक्टेंस कपा टाइम्स थाउजेंड अपॉन मोलैरिटी थाउजेंड अपॉन नॉर्मैलिटी इसको याद रखना है ऑल्सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन मोलार कंडक्टेंस एंड इक्वेलेंट कंडक्टेंस वट वी आई राइट मोल इक्वेलेंट कंडक्टेंस टाइम्स एन फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू मोलार कंडक्टेंस दिस are the equations these are the equations which we had already covered in the last class okay this these are the equations which we had already covered in the last class and with this with the help of this we'll try to solve this question okay let's try to solve this question aap logo ne isko agar dekh liya hai to please make a note of this you can take a screenshot of this particular thing it's a very very easy set of formulas very very easy set of formulas ओके चलिए लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन हाउ डू वी सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन अ कंडक्टिविटी सेल टू प्लेटिनम इलेक्ट्रोड्स एरिया इज टेन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो ए इज गिवन एज टेन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर आर फिक्स एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट ओके आर फिक्स एट डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट सो एल की वैल्यू जो है वो है 1.5 सेंटीमीटर इलेक्ट्रोड्स के बीच का जो डिस्टेंस है दैट इज 1.5 सेंटीमीटर नाउ सेकंड स्टेटमेंट क्या है द सेल कंटेन्स अ पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नॉर्मल सोल्यूशन ओके पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नॉर्मल सोल्यूशन सो नॉर्मैलिटी इज गिवन है जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एन ठीक है If the two electrodes are just dipped half into the solution, half हमने dip किया है so the whole 10 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर इज नॉट डिप्ड इन टू द सोल्यूशन आई हैव डिप्ड इट ओनली टू द हाफ सो इफेक्टिव एरिया इज नॉट टेन इफेक्टिव एरिया इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर इफेक्टिव एरिया इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर Now, if it is given that the resistance is 500 ohm, resistance is 500 ohm. So, can I say that the conductance, conductance, which is nothing but G, is equal to one upon 500? Okay. <clears throat> conductance, which is G, is one upon 500. Now, let's use the equation. Let's use the equation. So, I will write. G is equal to kappa times <coughs> A upon L. Okay, G is equal to kappa times A upon L. G ki value ho jati hai one upon five hundred, which is equal to kappa times A. A is five centimeter square. Length is one point five. So I would get the value as Three, so kappa will turn out to be three upon five thousand semen centimeter. कितना हो जाएगा? Kappa को क्या बोलेंगे? Semen plus centimeter inverse. Semen centimeter inverse. Yes, it's very easy. कोई difficult नहीं है इसमें ऐसा कोई difficult problem नहीं है. Now what we need to calculate is What is the equivalent conductance? So equivalent conductance, हमने कैसे calculate करना है? Lambda eq is equal to kappa times one thousand upon normality. Okay, kappa value given is three upon five thousand times one thousand upon one point. Sorry, uh, normality is zero point zero five. Zero point zero five. So this will get cancelled. ओके एंड ये हम 100 कर देते हैं सो दिस इज 525 ये 4 12 इट विल बी 12 सीमन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर मोल इनवर्स 
okay no it's not 1.5 think carefully it's 12 answer should be 12 when 12 3 upon 5000 1000 upon 0 0.005 it cannot be 26 cannot be 26 check your calculation so with this let's move on to the next thing at hand so next thing we'll look at what we would discuss is the first problem uh, try to solve this for the salt Al2SO4 whole thrice what is the expression for molar conductance and equivalent conductance okay now aluminium sulfate will dissociate to give aluminium ions and sulfate ions let's try and understand aluminium why is this expression writing important because if we write the correct expression then at time when we would be given a question we would be able to solve the question correctly so aluminium sulfate ye dissociate kaise karega? how would it dissociate it would dissociate to give 2 a l 3 plus plus 3 s o 4 2 minus Bolinge? aluminium sulfate if dissociates completely it will dissociate to give two moles of al3 plus ions and three moles of sulfate ion can i write this hello kamlesh hello keshav so can we write this agar ye dissociate kar raha hai to kya hum likh sakte hain ki this will give two moles of al3 plus ions and three moles of sulfate ions bataiye <coughs> We can write this. So, how many moles are present? How many moles of Al are present? 2. How many moles of sulfate are present? 3. So, if I want to write the molar conductance of Al2SO4 whole thrice, I will write this thing as, I will write this thing as 2 times the molar conductance of Al3 plus plus 3 times molar conductance due to sulfate ion. Okay. Colrus law will be discussed in the next class. Okay. It's a very, so we are just discussing a few things before we reach to Colrus law. Okay. So Colrus law will use these things. So Colrus law will next class. Mein is class mein hum log iske upar conductance ko hum log pura se cover kar lete hain. So molar conductance, jitne moles milenge, jitne zada moles milenge, utna zada molar conductance increase karta jayega. Okay? If <coughs> if we increase the number of moles, then the molar conductance will increase. Okay? Jitne ions increase karenge, utna molar conductance increase karna chahiye. So molar conductance. एक कितने आयंस मिल रहे हैं two so molar conductance due to each Al3 plus times two molar conductance due to each sulfate ions times three very easy now if I want to write equivalent conductance if I want to write equivalent conductance remember whenever equivalent conductance is written we do not worry about the number of ions produced okay equivalent con conductance is never ever we do not ever worry about how many ions are produced okay yaar fir se dekho yaha pe kitne moles mil rahe hain jitne moles mil rahe hain utne se uska molar conductance multiply kar dijiye it is exactly the same okay uh, equivalent conductance remember equivalent conductance is equal to the sum of equivalent conductance of both the ions remember how do we know this because the equivalence of this will always be equivalence of this always remember equivalence of anything which is produced and which two are reacting will always be equal so equivalence of equivalent conductance of al3 plus times equivalent conductance of SO4 2 minus. Jab hum, <coughs> this is not Colrus. Equivalent will be without coefficients. Yes, Bhavna, very, very good. Equivalents will be without coefficient 
molar will be with coefficient Did, how, whatsoever number of ions are produced we have to put over here but equivalents will be without coefficients okay equivalents will be without coefficients however अगर आपको ये पूछा गया कि इन दोनों के मोलार कंडक्टेंस एंड इक्विवेलेंट कंडक्टेंस के बीच का रिलेशन क्या है देन हाउ वुड यू राइट इक्विवेलेंट कंडक्टेंस ऑफ Al2SO4 होल थ्राइस विल बी इक्वल टू मोलार कंडक्टेंस ऑफ Al2SO4 होल थ्राइस यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विद n फैक्टर Isn't it? You will have to multiply with n factor. Muskan pichle class mein kiya gaya tha. Okay? We have done this in the previous class. So, multiplied with n factor. How do we calculate n factor? Dekho. What is the total number of charge, total, num, total positive charge that we observe over here? What is the total positive charge? we observe over here the total positive charge we observe over here is plus 6 okay total positive charge that we observe over here is plus 6 total positive charge that we observe over here is also minus 6 isn't it so remember n factor will be equal to the total positive charge which is observed or total negative charge which is observed so times 6 okay the mole concepts here this comes from mole concepts equivalence of two substances which are participating in a reaction will be equal moles may no or may not be equal clear so with this idea is this is a very very important idea very very important idea total positive charge times equivalent conductance is equal to molar conductance negative charge or negative charge negative kyun loge number lena hai n factor is a number n factor is not negative okay n factor can never be negative n factor is a number okay this number can be zero n factor can be any positive value fractional bhi ho sakta hai okay chaliye let's look at the relationship between molar conductance and solubility product okay charges will be same ashish if charges are not same then the compound is um, like not neutral for a compound to exist for a neutral compound to exist the charges will always be same okay so relationship between molar conductance and ksp how do we identify what is ksp if you take a sparingly soluble salt, a salt which is completely dissolved. Nahi hota hai. For example, silver chloride. A salt which com doesn't completely dissolve is like silver chloride. Now when silver chloride dissociates in water, it produces some amount of silver ion and some amount of chloride ion. The amount of these ions is expressed by the solubility. Like the amount of the ions is S. Se okay? Solubility product is nothing but the product of the concentration of these two. So Ksp is nothing but the concentration of the ions which are produced. The ions are the concentration of product hoga, that is solubility product. What is the concentration of S? Ag plus S. What is the concentration of Cl minus S? So this will be equal to S square. Clear? This is equal to S square. Now, if you look at the expression for molar conductance, okay, molar conductance ka expression kya hai? Molar conductance is 1000 times kappa by M. Molar conductance expression is 1000 times kappa by M. Now, what you have to do is, you have to put molarity over here. You have to put molarity over here. Molarity is nothing but the concentration of ions. What is molarity? Molarity is nothing but the concentration of ions. And how can we express concentration in terms of solubility product? So cons Ksp is equal to S square. So S will be equal to root over 
ksp i will just write root over ksp over here and this equation will be used in calculating the molar conductance of this salt okay yaad rakho whenever we have a mole a uh, sparingly soluble salt the solubility becomes the concentration and using the solubility we will write the expression for molar conductance okay is this clear <clears throat> is this understood solubility product you have already studied in class 11th solubility product and solubility ke beech ka relationship bhi aap log jante ho you have to just remember that solubility is the molar concentration okay solubility is the molar concentration chalo let's try to solve some questions on this okay what is the relation between what is the relation between the molar conductance and ksp of calcium fluoride okay calcium fluoride what is the relationship between the molar conductance and ksp of calcium fluoride how do we solve this theek hai kaise karte hain dekho calcium fluoride if calcium fluoride dissociates okay aman aapka question mein best book for je advance for top 100 self study top 100 self study ke liye ncert padho kuch bhi padho in read anything but do solve problems do solve previous years questions and pay a lot of attention to whatever is going on in your classroom mehnat bahut karni hoti hai kitab se 100 under 100 rank nahi aata hai aapke mehnat se aata hai okay ab kitab kuch bhi padho all books are equally good okay so ca2 plus plus 2 f minus okay Ca2 plus plus 2F minus. So initially, initially this is not present in the solution. Initially, ये तो present नहीं है solution में. हमने इसका one mole लिया. Now it dissociates to an extent S. मैं क्या बोलूँगा? ये कितना बन रहा है S? And this is for 2S. Can I say this? So if I take one mole of this, alpha लिखने की जगह हम यहाँ पे S लिखते हैं. जब salt के लिए लिखा जाता है, तो ये S लिखा जाता है. तो S If dissociation takes place to an extent s, तो ये s amount बनेगा और ये 2s amount बनेगा, isn't it? It will be s and this will be 2s. Now, if I write the solubility product, solubility product will be the concentration of Ca2 plus and concentration of F minus whole square. Okay. concentration of ca2 plus and concentration of f minus whole square concentration of ca2 plus is s concentration of f minus is 2s times 2s the whole square so this becomes 4s cube which is equal to ksp 4s cube yes kunal very good 4s cube is equal to ksp Okay, how many classes we have taken until now in electrochemistry? We have already had twelve classes. Okay, so thirteenth class Wednesday ko hoga, fourteenth class on be in Friday. Now, I need to calculate molar conductance. So, kya likhenge ham? Thousand times kappa upon molarity. Thousand times kappa upon molarity. What is the molarity? Molarity is nothing but S. Molarity is nothing but S. And what is the relation between S and KSP? What is the relation between S and KSP? One thousand up times K upon root over KSP cube root of KSP. Sorry, KSP upon four. KSP upon four ka cube root ho jayega. ओके के एस पी अपॉन क्यूब फोर का क्यूब रूट हो जाएगा दैट विल बी योर सॉलिबिलिटी एंड दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर योर मोलार कंडक्टेंस ठीक है इशू कोली क्यों क्योंकि ये होता है यार एस को निकालने के लिए हम कैसे निकालेंगे के एस पी अपॉन फोर का क्यूब रूट निकालेंगे वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट एस वी विल डू विल डिवाइड के एस पी बाई फोर एंड डू take a cube root of that <coughs> okay 
ओके क्लियर नेक्स्ट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मोलार कंडक्टेंस ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ए बी थ्री इज वन फिफ्टी सीमन स्क्वायर मोल इनवर्स If it ionizes to give a mole of A3 plus and three moles of B minus, okay. If it ionizes to give one mole of A3 plus and three moles of B3 minus, then the equivalent conductance would be equal to what? Okay. Equivalent conductance will be equal to what? But the what will be the answer? यार हितेश प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन भी तो डिस्कस किया था पिछले क्लास में अब आगे आएगा तब डिस्कस करेंगे वाई आर यू बींग सो इम्पेशेंट जब आगे आएगा नेक्स्ट जब हमने तो बोला ही है कि नेक्स्ट क्लास फ्राइडे की जो क्लास होगी दैट विल बी ए कंबाइंड क्लास फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव कवर्ड इन इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री तो सर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन डिस्कस कर ही लेंगे वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन अर्ली ईयर सो वॉट इज द एंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन कुनाल इज इट फिफ्टी एनी बडी एल्स बताइए वट इज द आंसर मोला कंडक्टेंस ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज वन फिफ्टी इफ डायनाइज टू गिव दिस एंड वट इज द इक्वेलेंट कंडक्टेंस वन फिफ्टी रूट फोर मैन ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है वन फिफ्टी रूट फोर क्यों आएगा हितेश 75 नो इंद्रजीत से 75 नो नहीं लुक ओवर हियर इट्स गिवन दैट ए बी थ्री इज डिसोसिएटिंग ओके ए बी थ्री इज डिसोसिएटिंग एंड इट फॉर्म्स ए थ्री प्लस प्लस थ्री बी माइनस ए थ्री प्लस एंड थ्री बी माइनस नॉट टेल मी समथिंग क्वेश्चन ये है कि इफ यू टेक वन मोल ऑफ दिस इनिशियली जीरो एंड जीरो फाइनली यू हैव वन मोल ऑफ दिस एंड थ्री मोल्स ऑफ दिस डोंट यू थिंक दैट दिस हैज अंडरवेंट कंप्लीट डिसोसिएशन यहां पे कंप्लीट डिसोसिएशन होगा तभी जाके ये मिलेगा फॉर एग्जांपल आई टेक वन मोल ऑफ एच इफ इट कंप्लीटली डिसोसिएट्स ओनली देन आई विल बी गेटिंग वन मोल ऑफ एच प्लस आयोन एंड वन मोल ऑफ सी एल माइनस आयोन इफ आई टेक वन मोल ऑफ कैल्शियम Uh, chloride then if it dissociates completely then only i will be getting one mole of calcium ion and two moles of chloride ion so it means that this is a strong electrolyte it has got underwent complete dissociation i will not use the concept of solubility product over here okay <clears throat> वन मोल से एक और तीन कैसे निकल गए अरे इशू मोल कंसेप्ट है यार एक मोल में कितने आयोन्स हैं ए के एक आयोन है बी के कितने आयोन्स बने से मिलके बना है तीन बी आयोन्स से मिलके बना है ना तभी तो मिलेंगे ए बी थ्री इज फॉर्म्ड यूजिंग द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वन ए थ्री प्लस एंड थ्री बी माइनस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑल ऑफ देम आर गिवन आउट नहीं तो ए बी थ्री कैसे बनेगा ओके so what is the total total positive charge what is the total positive charge kitna total positive charge hoga one ion charge is 3 plus so total positive charge is plus 3 total negative charge is also minus 3 so what will be the n factor n factor is 3 n factor is 3 so what we would do equivalent conductance times 3 is equal to molar conductance this is the equation equivalent conductance times 3 is equal to molar con equivalent time conductance times n factor is equal to molar conductance n factor ki jagah aap 3 likhoge and molar conductance ko divide kar dena hai 3 so 150 by 3 that will be 50 right answer should be c right answer should be c okay is that clear okay <coughs> now if anybody has a confusion that why we are considering n factor as equal to 3 let's 
try and understand it in this way that suppose AB3 is electrolyzed. If AB3 is electrolyzed, what we would do is we will take our A3 plus ion and we will take 3B minus ion, isn't it? And we will give it 3 electrons and change it to A and this will give out 3 electrons and change to B. This reaction will take place at cathode or ye kaha pe hoga? Anode. Isn't it? So if we are electrolyzing, remember we have already, al already done Faraday's law of electrolysis. So Faraday's law of electrolysis uses the concept of transfer of electrons. If we transfer a certain amount of electrons, we transfer a certain amount of charge into the solution, then only a reaction takes place. So for this reaction to occur, how many electrons are being transferred? Three electrons. For this reaction to occur, how many electrons are being transferred? Three electrons. Transfer means that we have to add the amount of energy here and the amount of energy here and the amount of energy here. If this undergoes reduction, three electrons are being taken up. If this undergoes oxidation, three electrons are being given out. So the n factor for the conversion of AB3 into A and 3B neutral atoms will be three. Okay. If it would be a weak electrolyte, should we use N factor? Yes. The point is, if we are using a weak electrolyte, then this formula cannot be used directly because weak electrolyte would not be completely dissociated. Okay? Is it actually anode which gives three electrons to cathode? Yeah, man. It is the anode of a battery which gives three electrons to cathode and the anode of an electrolytic cell which provides three electrons to the cathode of the battery. In our previous sessions, it, we have already discussed, in our previous session, we have discussed how does the charge electricity travel when you connect a battery to an electrolytic cell. Okay. Now the difference between a strong and weak electrolyte is a strong electrolyte, again this was discussed in the last class, Strong electrolyte is the one which will dissociate completely. This is degree of dissociation 1. Hota hai. Weak electrolytes are the ones for which degree of dissociation is less than 1. They do not dissociate completely. Okay. How do we know that? There are very common examples. Strong acids, strong bases, salts of group 1, group 2. They are strong electrolytes. Generally, there are some very... Uh, Profound examples of weak electrolytes like barium sulfate, silver chloride, uh, chromates, uh, silver chromate, so lead sulfate. These are some common examples of weak electrolytes. Okay. How equivalents for weak electrolyte will be written? We'll take up an equation. There will be a different equation for that. For these questions are being solved while considering that they are behaving as a strong electrolyte we are not considering them that that they are behaving as a weak electrolyte okay next question is this the equivalent conductance of fe2so4 whole thrice is related to the molar conductance by the expression what is the expression Badaiye. the equivalent conductance of fe2so4 whole thrice is related to the molar conductance by which expression what is the right answer to this question? We just solved uh, questions on equivalent conductance and molar conductance. So this should come easy. It's a very simple question. Let's solve it. Kamlesh. Uh, very good Kamlesh. Kamlesh has answered most, quick, uh, like, most quickly. And the answer is D. The right answer is D. Very good, Kamlesh. Supreta, no, it is incorrect. Okay. Issue correct, Abhishek correct, Gaurav incorrect, Kunal correct. So Fe2SO4 whole thrice. I will write this substance to dissociate as 3Fe2 plus, sorry, 2Fe3 plus, plus 3SO4 2 minus 
Now, how many electrons would be given out or taken in for conversion of this 2Fe? Kitne electrons? What will be the process? 3 units of positive charge, 2 Fe ions. So, it should take up 6 electrons to convert into Fe. A on a 6 6 electrons so what will be the n factor n factor will be 6 if n factor is 6 so n factor times equivalent conductance is equal to molar conductance our answer will turn out to be d okay the answer will turn out to be d so anybody who is writing c is incorrect it will not be c clear actually talk about what is the effect of dilution what is the effect of dilution what is the meaning of dilution adding water you take some you make a syrup you uh, sugar syrup and you keep adding water that is what is known as dilution you keep the number of moles constant but you keep adding the water okay so the meaning of dilution I'm explaining it in a very simple word while dilution takes place when dilution takes place moles remains constant but volume increases volume increases okay volume increases now if I take let me ask you a simple question if I take 10 ml of uh, if I take one liter of uh, water okay and I add a pinch of salt in it Ek chamach, or let's say I add one teaspoon of table salt and I take 100 ml of water and I add one teaspoon of table salt don't you think that table salt will be completely dissolved in both the liquids or both these samples of liquids if I take 100 ml of water and I take 1 ml of water, it will, it will dissolve in both these liquids to the extent of 100%. Can I say that the extent of, uh, extent of dissolution will be 100% in both the cases? Yes. So, if the extent of dissolution is 100% for sodium chloride in 100 ml water or in so I'm just writing over here once again so I am taking 100 ml water and I take 1 liter water I add 1 tablespoon 1 teaspoon of it's not saturated one is not saturated don't say that it is saturated you really don't know what is the solubility product don't ever say that it is saturated okay don't use these words very lightly because they mean a, they create a hell of a difference so we add one teaspoon of salt completely dissolves completely soluble i will say completely soluble okay completely soluble now assume that one teaspoon contains uh, let's say 50 moles of uh, one teaspoon contains some x moles of salt won't it produce all of the ions all of sodium and chlorine ions which are present in it into the water won't it release everything into water when it is dissolving completely won't it release everything into water as a hoga ki nahi Okay, won't it release completely everything into water? If I take, if let's say one teaspoon of salt contains a certain amount of uh, sodium chloride, won't it dissociate completely to release Na plus completely? Cl minus, jitna bhi salt mein present tha, Na plus Cl minus, wo pura medium mein aajayega, yes. So, the number of ions remain the same. The number of ions, can I say that number of ions of sodium chloride present in this 
and sodium chloride present in this will be equal yes so if that is the scenario then the molar conductance should be equal because molar conductance kya hona chahiye ki molar conductance is e proportional to the number of ions if the number of ions is equal then the molar conductance should also be equal but this is not observed what is observed is when we take a when we add water the molar conductance for strong electrolytes also increases okay strong electrolytes also increases it is because of the reason that when you take a strong electrolyte ye dekho ye strong electrolyte hai na plus cl minus what is the force of attraction between them what is the force of attraction between them the force of attraction between them is completely electrostatic in nature but the moment you add water water acts as a dielectric and dielectric ke ka apne property padha hai if you increase 1 by 4 pi epsilon not z e square by sorry this is equal r square r square so when you increase the dielectric constant what happens to the force when you increase this this decreases okay when you increase dielectric constant force decreases so if you add more and more water if you add more and more water then the distance between na plus and cl minus increases it's not breaking of bonds okay when you add some water when you add some water kya hota hai ki it acts as a dielectric and it reduces the force of attraction between cation and anion agar cation and anion ke beech mein force reduce kar diya then cation is moving and uske aas pass jo anions the unke upar wo koi attractive force nahi laga raha hai okay earlier kya tha ki there is a lot of attractive interaction think carefully suppose there is a friend of yours at a bus stand and you are you are going very close to him you are riding a bike very close to him you can all, you can see him he can see you and probably he can ask for a lift but let's say you are at the two ends of a road and there is a huge amount of traffic between the two of you it's very impossible okay it's almost impossible for him to take a lift from you or you to reach him so the point is when you add water in ke beech mein distance increase ho jata hai and number of ions change nahi karte but distance increase ho jane ke karan now they can move more freely when they were close to each other their attractive interaction was large and they were not able to move quite easily now they can move easily okay so when for a strong electrolyte molar conductance increases with dilution due to lesser interionic interaction due to lesser interionic interaction okay if we take for weak electrolytes if we take for weak electrolytes weak electrolytes ke case mein kya hota hai when we can, we have all, also read oswald dilution law apne padha hai ओके ओसवाल डाइल्यूशन लॉ यू हैव ऑलरेडी रेड ओसवाल डाइल्यूशन लॉ इन ओसवाल डाइल्यूशन लॉ यू हैव रेड दिस फैक्ट दैट व्हेन डाइल्यूशन टेक्स प्लेस डिसोसिएशन ऑकर्स सो फॉर अ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इफ आई ऐड वाटर डिसोसिएशन टेक्स प्लेस एंड मोर द डाइल्यूशन मोर वुड बी द मोला कंडक्टेंस द लास्ट थिंग इज कंडक्टिविटी देखो ये चीज बहुत अच्छे से याद रखो कि मोलार कंडक्टेंस for strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes increases with dilution but conductivity decreases with due to decreases due to dilution conductivity decreases due to dilution because it decreases the number of ions per unit volume conductivity is nothing but conductance per unit volume to agar conductance volume increase kar raha hai number of ions per unit volume is decreasing conductivity will decrease so please do remember that conductivity decreases conductance increases conductance iska bhi increase karta hai okay so with this we 
end today's session. Pulkit sir session will start in just a while. In the next session, we will be discussing the plots of dilute effect, plots of molar conductance versus dilution and we'll discuss about Colorus law. So please do join us in the next session. Next session will be on variation of the mathematical form of this particular assessment. Ye jo humne abhi kiya hai, iska mathematical discussion hum log next session mein karenge. And we will be discussing Colorus law. Okay. So just telling you this, we will be discussing this, this plot. Ye plot hum log next class mein discuss karenge variation of molar conductance with respect to concentration and please do join at 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock for the Vedantu KPY classes SA, SX classes are being held every week please do take the maximum benefit from them and there will be a lot of like uh, amazing things that we will be bringing up there is a test series on KPY that is also coming up please do try to register for that the link for that will be there in the description section okay so this is Saurav Goswami taking leave and I hope you join us on the Wednesday session. Bye-bye guys. Have a lovely time.